Hello, welcome to the course Text Mining and Analytics. My name is Chen Xiang Zhai. I have a nickname Chen. I'm a professor of the Department of Computer Science at the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. This course is a part of a data mining specialization offered by the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. In addition to this course, there are four other courses offered by uh, Professor Zhao Weihan, Professor Jiang Hart, and me, followed by a capstone project course that all of us will teach together. This course is particularly related to another course in the specialization, namely text retrieval and search engines, in that both courses are about text data. In contrast, pattern discovery and cluster analysis are about algorithms more applicable to uh, all kinds of data in general. The visualization course is also relatively general in that the techniques can be applied to all kinds of data. This course addresses a pressing need for harnessing big text data. Text data has been growing dramatically recently, mostly because of the advanced technologies deployed on the web that would enable people to quickly generate text data. So I listed some of the examples on this slide that can show a variety of text data that are available today. For example, if you think about the data on the internet, on the web, uh, Every day we are seeing many web pages being created. Blogs are another kind of new text data that are being generated quickly by people. Anyone can write a blog article on the web. News articles, of course, have always been um, a main kind of text data that are generated, being generated every day. Emails uh, are yet another kind of text data and literature is uh, also representing a large portion of text data. It's also especially very important because of the high quality uh, in the data. Uh, that is, we encode our knowledge about uh, the world uh, using uh, text data represented by all the literature articles. So it's uh, a vast amount of knowledge buried in all the text data uh, in these literature articles. Now Twitter is yet another uh, representative text data uh, representing social media. Of course, there are forums as well. And people are generating uh, tweets very quickly. Indeed, as we are speaking, perhaps many people have already written many tweets. So as you can see, there are all kinds of text data that are being generated very quickly. Now these text data present some challenges for people. And that is, it's very hard for anyone to digest all the text data quickly. And in particular, it, it's impossible for scientists to read all the literatures, for example, and for anyone to read all the tweets. So there's a need for tools to help people digest the text data more efficiently. There is also another interesting opportunity um, provided by such big text data, and that is it's possible to leverage the amount of text data to discover interesting patterns to turn text data into actionable knowledge that can be useful for decision making. So for example, uh, Product managers may be interested in knowing uh, the feedback of customers about their products, knowing how well their products are um, being received as compared with uh, the products of competitors. This can be a good opportunity for uh, leveraging text data as we have seen a lot of reviews of products on the web. So if we can develop uh, advanced text mining techniques to uh, tap into such a review data to extract the knowledge and the opinions of people about these products. 
then we can help uh, these product managers to gain business intelligence or to um, essentially know the feedback from their customers. In scientific research, for example, scientists are interested in knowing the trends of research topics, knowing um, the knowing about what uh, related fields have discovered. This problem is especially important in biology research, where different communities tend to use different terminologies, yet they are studying very similar problems. So how can we integrate the knowledge discovered in different communities uh, to help study a particular problem is, is very important and can speed up uh, scientific discovery. So there are many such examples where we can leverage text data to uh, discover useful knowledge to optimize our decision. The main techniques for harnessing big text data are text retrieval and text mining. So these are two very much related technologies, yet they have uh, somewhat different purposes. And these two kinds of techniques are covered in the two courses listed here uh, in this specialization. So text retrieval and search engines covers text retrieval. And this is necessary to turn big text data into a much smaller but more relevant text data, which are often the data that we need to handle a particular problem or to optimize a particular decision. This course covers text mining, which is a second step in this pipeline that can be used to further process the small amount of relevant data to extract the knowledge or to help people digest the text data easily. So the two courses are clearly related. In fact, some of the techniques are shared by um, both text retrieval and text mining. If you have already taken the text retrieval course, then you might see some of the content uh, being uh, repeated in this uh, text mining course, although we'll be talking about the techniques uh, from a very different perspective. If you have not taken text retrieval course, it's also fine because this course is self-contained and you can uh, certainly understand all the materials without the problem. Of course, uh, you might find it beneficial to take both courses as that will give you a fairly complete set of skills to handle big text data.